Hey YouTube, welcome to Little Home Projects. In this video I wanted to go through how I hung my canoe in my carport, as well as coming up with a way to load it and unload it on my car much more easily than I used to do it. To start, I just wanted to show you how I used to handle this. I, know I normally keep my canoe in the backyard, and every time I'd want to use it, I'd have to bring it from the back to the front and throw it on the car myself. This is full of a bunch of different problems, because the canoe is actually pretty heavy and big. It's about 15 feet long, and I, you know it's just under 100 pounds, I think. I normally used to use this canoe trailer that I have here. Um, it never really worked well. I bought it from a garage sale. Uh, the package, I think it said canoe trailer, but uh, I've never been able to get it to work for a canoe. I think maybe it was meant for a smaller kind of kayak. This particular time, I wanted to get it right for the video, so I probably spent a solid 20 minutes on it just trying to get it hooked up. But uh, no matter what I tried, it never really lasted. So you can see how much of a struggle it was. If uh, anyone knows the right way to use this thing, let me know in the comments. I'd love to know because i got a couple of them and I can't get them to work. So as you can see, I have a lot of trouble with this and it never really goes well. So I usually end up giving up and dragging it out to the car myself. This time of year the ground is wet enough so it's not going to scratch up the bottom of the canoe, but normally I'd have to carry it. The next difficult step is actually getting it onto the car. Uh, doing it by myself is always a bit difficult. Uh, if I have an extra person to help, it's not a problem but you gotta make sure that they're able to lift and maneuver the canoe over the car as well. So this is how I normally go about doing it myself. I'd lift up one end, get it up on the car rack, I go back, lift the other end, push it onto the car, and then tie it down with a couple straps. Before I could actually hang the canoe, I needed to make sure I knew where the canoe, the car, and the ceiling of the carport would all line up. This is actually the first time I've seen the canoe inside the carport. It is going to fit, but only just. It's pretty much the exact right size. To get an idea of where I think I would need to put my hooks, I used a piece of string with a nail tied to it. This let me put a mark just above the canoe where I figured the hooks would need to start. I did this to each of the four corners, and then it was time to get the canoe out of the way. With space to work, I went ahead and tried to figure out where my actual rafters were located. I did add extra backing into the carport when it was built, but Still, it was pretty difficult to find where the rafters were, where the different bits of wood were. I tried poking at it, I tried using a light to peer through the, the soffit, in the end, what really worked was using a nail to just poke through, find the rough spots of where they were, uh, and then make a mark of where I wanted to actually drill my holes. I then measured the width of the canoe, and transferred that measurement back to the ceiling again, and then repeated the process of finding a stud nearest to that mark. I did this for both sides so that I knew I'd have a nice solid anchor point close to where I needed the actual anchors to be. I've drilled and screwed in this pigtail hook. I like the idea of the pigtail because you can thread on the pulley and then once it's on it's not going to accidentally fall off. So I decided to do a little test before committing to the entire rig. I strung up some rope, uh, one of the pulleys I planned on using, and also instead of drilling into the fascia board where I wanted to eventually hang my final piece up in the corner here, I decided to just use some hooks I had around the house to just sort of make sure that everything was going to work the way I expected. I ran my 3 16th rope through the pulleys and then brought it over to the temporary hooks. To attach the ropes to the supports that would be taking the weight of the canoe, I wanted to come up with a system that would be easy to detach but at the same time wouldn't accidentally fall off and lose the canoe. What I came up with was a loop of string fed through a piece of 2x2, two two, looped back over itself, and then a carabiner linking that loop back onto itself. To do this was actually pretty easy. I just took a piece of string about 18 to 20 inches long. I looped it over so that both ends were touching. I tied a knot in the end so that it would not come loose. Drilled a hole through the 2x2, two two. I used a half inch hole. Then thread the loop of string through the hole and back around over the piece of wood and then link the carabiner through both of those loops. Now the string can't come off of the piece of wood but I can still get it off pretty easily if I ever wanted to. Continuing with the idea of just using test hardware before committing to the final hardware I choose to use, I just use another beat up hook around that I had lying around the house and a nail as the anchor point for the pulley system. I'm just using the same pulleys as I did on the top, linking it in, twisting the hook over so that it can't come loose for now. And then I'm going to use this nail to actually tie down my piece of string 
so that it doesn't come loose while I'm pulling on the rope. With that all in place, I moved up to feeding the string through the top pulley, then back down to the bottom pulley, back up to the top again for another loop, and now when I pull down on the string, I'm getting a, I think, 2 to 1 pull ratio. I've linked that pulley, the top pulley, to a carabiner and then tied all of my strings off to that so they all pull evenly. And at this point, I think it is working quite well. It's lifting up this container of kitty litter pretty easily, um, just with my, just my two fingers. It's nice and smooth. Everything looks good. Time to move on to a more full-scale test. I tied simple loops into each of the ropes, attached them to the carabiners I have in the support pieces of wood, and with that, I'm ready to try and hang the canoe. Just got to carry it over, get it into place, and then see how the weight really sits when I start pulling on the ropes. So pretty much right away when I started pulling on the string here, I was surprised at how much force I had to pull down with. It was not as smooth as I was hoping, and it, it really did dig into my fingers with the rope. It was, it was actually pretty tough. Um, I stopped to have a look at everything because it, it seemed like it was a lot of stress on things. Uh, it did balance the canoe quite nicely, but uh, I found a few things right away that I wanted to switch. So, to start, I found that the width of these boards that I'm using to support the canoe is too wide. It's actually wider than the spacing at the top. Um, I found that the tension on the rope and the pulley was extremely high. Uh, so I feel like this is really pulling it too harsh in the one direction. And that the pigtail bolt that I have is probably not going to be strong enough in the long term for that. It just doesn't feel safe. And then where all the ropes are meeting at the center, the two hooks I have as, their, as placeholders are are starting to bend from the force altogether so it's definitely pulling too much in the down direction and when i try to pull on it here i can't even pull i can't even make any headway on this it's it's just really really heavy so i think what i need to do is swap this out for something bigger i'm also going to add a pulley to this so that it's not dragging on the bolt itself and I, hopefully that'll fix it all out but i gotta upgrade the overall system so i've gone to the hardware store and I'm swapping out my pigtail bolts for these much more heavy-duty eye bolts. I'll have to cut this little edge off of the eye bolt to be able to slip my pulley in, but I think it'll work out well. For the two main hooks I was using, this is what I had before, and this is what I'm going to replace it with. So something much more heavy-duty should take a lot more weight. I feel a lot safer having it there. And I'm also going to attach pulleys to this as well. To cut out the bit of space I need on the eye bolts, I've drilled a quarter-inch hole into this piece of 2x4, and I'm going to thread it through nice and solid so that I have a good solid anchor point to work with my eye bolts. And uh, after attaching the 2x4 to the work surface nice and securely, I can use my jigsaw with a metal blade to just cut a tiny notch out of the eye bolt. Make sure not to push too hard when you're cutting on the metal. Just let the blade do the work. As it gets hot, definitely cool it down with some water. It'll save the life of the blade a lot. When you finish, do be careful because it will be hot. Uh, again, sp splash some water onto it, make sure it's not going to burn you, and then you can take it out, repeat the process for the other three bolts. The size of the cutout only needs to be as wide as the hook for the pulley. So you just have to slide it in just big enough, that way it slides around and it won't come off very easily. With all four of these done, I can move on. Upgrading the old pigtail bolts is straightforward enough. Just disconnect the pulley, unscrew the pigtail, I drilled out the hole so that it would be the right size for the new bolts, and screw in the new eye bolt, and I reattach the pulley. I also made sure to orient the direction of the eye bolt in the direction of tension of the pulley. That way there's lower shearing forces, I hope. So looking at the final setup here, I ended up putting additional pulleys on the top for every rope that was coming through from each point of contact on the canoe. The last one here is a double just because I had an extra double one left over rather than using buying a, a separate single. I've looped through this piece of string to the bottom of this double pulley so that I could attach the final pulley rope directly to the pulley. This lets me change the pulley design I was going to use. Now I can go from a double pulley at the bottom, connect to a carabiner and a more solid eye bolt, uh, back up to the main pulley and I can get hopefully a better pull strength on it. So with all the new pulley system threaded, it's time to give it a test. I reconnected all of the carabiners to the ropes and brought in the canoe. 
After giving it a few pulls, I could tell right away that it was definitely smoother than the previous setup. Uh, but it was still requires a good amount of strength to pull on it. It's, it's not nothing. Uh, I got it a few feet off the ground, and I just thought I'd stop and take a look at everything again. I decided to leave it here for a couple of days, just to make sure that the ropes and the pulleys, nothing were going to give way. I'd much rather it break a foot and a half off the ground than ten feet off the ground. And once I feel safe about that, I'll uh, shorten the strings up and get it high to the ceiling. Okay, so it's been a few days. I was happy with the way everything was looking, so I went ahead and tied some level knots in the string a little bit higher up and pulled the canoe all the way to the ceiling to see how it would sit. And you can see it's, it's not quite sitting level. I'm going to have to readjust that. And I also need to adjust my lengths of wood so they're not too wide. So here is the setup pretty much finished. One thing I still need to do is clean up the extra length of rope underneath the knots. I don't think I'm in a rush to do that just in case I do want to adjust it, but it's not in the way. All of the different tie down points go through these four pulleys through a large eye bolt. They come down to two sets of two pulleys each. Uh, this gives me a four to one lift ratio, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, yeah, it pulls down nicely. I've also flipped the direction of the pulleys, so instead of pulling down on the pulley system, I'm pulling up on the pulley system, and I don't know, it doesn't really make a difference. I was hoping it'd be easier. I might switch it back again. Uh, it does seem to sit pretty tight when it's all said and done. I've changed out the rope to be a thicker rope because it was easier on my hand this way. i got to cut that to length once I'm happy with it. Uh, I may still get something thicker yet. And to finish off, I figured let's take a look at how the whole system works. I want to compare this to what it was like before getting it out of the backyard. So to start, I've got to back the car in, lower the canoe down, disconnect the wood braces from the rope, And with that, uh, with some minor positioning, once it's down, the canoe is on the car. That pretty much took less than two minutes total, so that's pretty good. Now let's do the reverse and see how long the total time is. Reattach the wood braces. And lift the canoe back into its final place. So there are definitely a few lessons learned uh, on this project. Um, number one I would say is that I probably needed bigger hardware just in general. Bigger pulleys, bigger bolts. Uh, don't be shy about it. You can definitely, you're not going to overdo it. So that's, that's my one takeaway is the whole system does need pretty substantial hardware and I'll probably go back and replace all the pulleys at some point. I, uh, secondly, I also found that I needed a lot more little bits and pieces than I thought I was going to need. So all the different carabiners, all the different eye bolts, um, the different pulleys, I ended up spending a lot more on this than I originally planned. Probably more than double than I originally planned. I'm not sure exactly what the final price was. Uh, I think it was under $100, but it was definitely more than $80 as well. So, you know, $80 to $100 somewhere in that, that range there. Um, originally, I was planning on doing it for a lot cheaper, so this did shoot up pretty quick once I needed a bit different bits and pieces. And that's also not counting the original hardware that I traded out. So. It started to add up pretty quickly. Um, I guess that's it. Thanks for checking out Little Home Projects. This is my hanging a canoe in the carport video. I really like this setup because it is easy to use. The canoe is out of the weather and it only needs one person to get it done. Uh, hopefully there's lots more canoeing in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye. This was my first video for Little Home Projects. If you liked it, please do give it a thumbs up. If you want me to keep making more of these, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks.